Hi, my name is Saran Kumar. Welcome to my channel, The Excelism. Friends, this video is part of series of videos on how to prepare closing balance table from the account statement. By any chance, if you missed the previous videos of this series, you please check the description for the link. In this video, I would like to explain about preparation of the date column as this is very important in the closing balance table. This date column should have starting from the first date of account statement till the last date. In this account statement, we have 1st January 2022 is the first date and 10th January 2022 is the last one. So I should have a column called date starting from 1st January 2022 till 10th January 2022 in between every date should appear. So let me hide all these three columns for the time being. The first method I can do with autofill, a very simple method. What I can do, you know, I'll just copy this. I will do control V, I'll paste. Let me auto fit. Let me drag this till 10 cells because my last date in the account statement is 10th January. Whenever you use auto fill, you can have day wise dates. Now, let me have the second method incremental method. Incremental method is basically a simple formula we can do. What I'll be doing, I will give a reference to the first date in the date column. Then I'll put equal sign, this plus one. I'm sorry, this plus one. As you know, as you know, date is nothing but the serial number. When you take date plus one, it will take to the next serial number. That means the next day, enter. We can simply copy and paste till the last day in the account statement. That is 10th January 2022. If you observe carefully, these two methods may not be very effective. The reason is, whenever I change this as 11, do you think these two changed automatically? No. This is a manual method. But the third method which I am going to explain now will be dynamic method. That means if I change this value or even if the data get increased, the date list will automatically change. Okay, let me take this back to 10 for the time being. The third method we can get using the sequence function. So, sequence function. First of all, let me tell you what is the sequence function. Equal to sequence. Let us see the description. Description is very simple. Return say sequence of numbers. Let us look into the syntax. The syntax is having four arguments and only one argument is mandatory. Remaining three arguments are optional. How do you know that? Because remaining three arguments are covered with a square bracket. In the syntax, whenever an argument is covered with the square bracket, that means it is an optional argument. Meaning, even if you don't enter that argument, still Excel execute the formula. Sequence function give us a matrix of numbers. Rows, just for example, if I put row 2, column 2, it's going to give me 2 by 2 matrix. Means 2 by 2 range. 2 columns, 2 rows. Now I can tell to the Excel, I want to start from 1. So my first value it has to start should be 1. I want one should be the step value, right? Even if you ignore start argument and step both, but still by default, it will continue one, one. If I enter, I'm going to have a matrix one, incremental two, three, four. Okay, for example, if I take this three comma three, I want to start with two, 
my incremental value, the step value must be 2. That means my starting value is 2, next value will be 4, then next value will be 6 and so on. It's going to create 9 values in 3 by 3 matrix. If I enter, I will be having a range in 3 by 3 matrix with 2, 4, 6 and so on. Wow. But in present case, I just want only one column. I don't want more than one column. Second argument is also optional as I mentioned. If you don't give any second argument, by default, it consider one column. Right? Now let me delete this. In this present case, I can take this value. There is no problem. Enter. I can simply copy paste like the previous one. But I want to make it dynamic. So what I'll be doing for this, let me add. Let me add. I will use a function called sequence. Now how many rows I want? The number of rows here is nothing but the maximum value out of these dates minus minimum value out of this plus 1 because I want both has to be inclusive. Let me handle this separately in a next cell so that you can understand. Here how many dates is depending on what is the difference between this and this. For example, in this case, I am having 10 days, right? How I will achieve that 10 figure equal to maximum of this close bracket minus minimum of this close bracket, right? But since both are inclusive, let me put plus 1. So that what will happen? Maximum value out of this is 10th January 2022. Minimum value out of this is 1st January 2022. 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10 because I want both inclusion. Okay. If I keep this 10 in the sequence function, then it's going to give 10 rows by 1 matrix starting from the first value till 10th value incremental 1, right? So the same formula, I will just do control C, I will escape, let me delete, let's go back, let me do control V, close bracket. Now let me remove the single quote so that this becomes a formula. Friends, A3 is 1st January 2022. Max formula will give me maximum value out of this is 10th January 2022. Min formula is giving me lowest value that is 1, 1, 2022. 10 minus 1, I'll get 9, the difference. 9 plus 1 will become 10. This is giving me 10 numbers starting from 1. If I enter, A3 plus 1 will come. Next cell, A3 plus 2. Next cell, A3 plus 3 and so on. If I enter, now convert remaining values also into the date format. Paste special, format, click OK. Fine, great. You may surprise why this is starting from 2. This is starting from 2 because already 1st January 2022 is here and also out of the sequence function, the first value will be 1, right? It's going to start with 1. Then step value is 1. So next value will be 2, 3 and so on. So A3 plus 1, hence it directly went into the 2nd January. So to overcome this problem, what I can do at the end, let me put minus 1. So that this is giving me a series of 1 to 10 minus 1. So 1 minus 1, 2 minus 1, 3 minus 1, 4 minus 1 and so on 10 minus 1. That means A3 plus 0. The next cell A3 plus 1, A3 plus 2. Friends, 
sequence is a dynamic array function which is available in the office 365 dynamic array means it is having a nature of spill because this result is giving 10 by 1 matrix it automatically spill the values into the adjacent cells if i enter i will be getting the correct data for example if i change the last date here to 11 do you think this will change automatically absolutely wonderful okay so this is the way you can make a dynamic column of the date this is very important this is very important because later when we are when we are going to prepare the closing balance this column is the one depending on which we will be writing sum if formula or x lookup formula i hope you all enjoyed this video in next video i'll be talking about preparation of the closing balance table from the account statement in different methods see you all in the next video